money, 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 money. All right, HME, Hemisphere Energy Corp, guys, on the venture, Toronto Stock Exchange venture. And that is a little ticker I picked up on screener.nextbigtrade.com. And uh, I always like going through that screener, choosing a sector, and then uh, popping those weekly charts. Nice little links there. Click on the links, W, pops up the, the, week, the weekly uh, candle chart. And uh, that's really, really a nice setup. So I did a few, and HME really stood out to me, guys. And you'll see why right now. All right. Guys, what goes up must come down. Check that stage two. After that, I know it's on the monthly, but just for the trend, stage two trend could be on weekly, daily, monthly. We're playing on them weekly, but uh, you could still see stages on any time frame. Stage two. And then you had this huge top right here. And after that, you had a breakdown. With a target reached top that using my classic chart trading framework that is would have been awesome i would have done like this i know i always say bigger the bigger the, the target the further away it is the least probable it is of reaching it my framework i enter here on the monthly candle close below the breakdown line I put my sell stop above the high of the wick and I put my profit limit at the implied measure move all the way here. So I, I would have been in the stock one month and then I would have said, oh, cool, halfway there. And then uh, that's why I sell stop up here. It was just a pullback. And then one month, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 months, man almost laser accuracy 12 months i would have been in one year oh my god lots of time to land on emotional landmines lots of time to deviate from framework lots of time for a whole bunch of stuff to happen and yeah that's kind of tough right so you got to practice that get a hobby go play golf do something but uh Move my original chart trading framework. I put in my buy stop, bracket orders, whatever one is hit. The other one gets canceled and that's it. Lock and load, forget it. Don't go on stock to it, don't go on Twitter. And don't even look at the chart. You just forget about it. You treat all of them the same. It's the simplest, 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 simplest thing you could ever do. And for a newbie, for somebody who hasn't practiced emotion and management techniques, which could get a whipsawed by reading the news, by listening to the father-in-law, for all these reasons. Sometimes it's just better. I know there's drawdowns to not looking at the chart, not understanding what's happening, but if you're not emotionally ready to trade or haven't been ready, that's the lesser of two evils. Just lock and load, forget, and move on. So that's pretty much it. All right, so that's done. Do -do 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 -do. Then after that, price goes down reach the bottom and then starts uh, wiggling its way up and what do we have here guys oh la la okay important stuff happening here move that, that alert okay we move all trend lines Two. oh does that work wow okay we're gonna go see on the weekly right now on the weekly we probably have a breakout right here or, yeah, here's some good resistance. Here's some better. But you have a little better resistance on the monthly right here. It hasn't been tested in the previous uh, year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 12 months, year and a half. Goes all the way back here to mid-2015. And the closer short-term resistance... One, two, three. It's right here around the 27 cents level. But I, I like that 30 cents round number as a breakout level. So for us, I'm just going to, that's going to be my breakout level. There you go. 
So you have a nice pattern right here. Remember patterns encompass patterns. So there's multiple targets here. Move, 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 remove. Okay. Where's my arrows, guys? Where's my arrows? So if we have a close above 30 cents, apply measure move right about here. That's for that pattern, but remember, it seems to be encompassed. That's a launching pattern off a bigger pattern. And that target would be added on to the breakout line. I'm not precise. Let's get, let's get some better lines here. Okay, that one's nice. Hold on. Remove this trend line. Patrick, stop messing with me. Yeah, these lines, what the hell is that? What was I doing there? Okay, a little bit better position. Add it to breakout line. There you go. Move trend line. There you go. So these are my targets for my monthly chart. One of them is mm, bring us all the way up here through the breakdown line. And the first target right below that breakdown line of that big pattern, which I call a wall previous support, now turn resistance. So this target has a higher probability of reaching its implied measure move than this target. So first target, you put your sell stop here, and then you wait and you see what happens. Consolidation, run right through it, just wait. You might make a bigger pattern, and then after that you'll have to reevaluate how it looks like. Because when I see targets running through previous uh, resistance turn support, eh, it's like this thing I call target considerations. Not quite super fond of it because you have a chance of just getting faded out of that. And you're not reaching it too much of important resistance. Is it so important? Take Always take that less greedy implied measure move of that launching pattern closer to the breakout line and get tempted and use that big pattern target right there. So very, very, very close for a monthly candle. Um, Define breakout guys keep an eye on that for that 30 cents level we have a few days left to go now let's scoot over to the weekly doo, 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 doo. Okay, so 30 cents we establish the monthly defined breakout line where's my weekly I'm gonna zoom in, guys. Look at the, I'm gonna look at the volume. Starting here, see that volume twice the average. Eesh. Well, maybe not because of these two candles. Right here. So is that the first? It's below 30 week moving average. So we have not played the Stanway, but it's bursts, two, 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 two. pullbacks on contracting volume. Like beautiful stage analysis. Beautiful stand work. Beautiful, look at that red candle pullbacks, close to breakout line. Again, we're not going to enter yet because the price action is below the 30 week average. But this type of setup, horizontal breakout line, burst through it on volume, then pullback and contracting volume, that pattern repeats over and over and over. Then we're starting to go out, guys. And right now, this is, oh, this is a lot of volume for one day, Tuesday, Monday. For one day, I'm going to pause this Tuesday morning. So that's one day of volume, guys. Whew. What's it going to look like at the end of the week, man? We're going to have a huge candle here. And it's trying to go up. This could be it, guys. This could be our breakout candle. So this would be all stars aligned. Harmony with a monthly candle defined breakout at the 30 cents level. A weekly Stan Weinstein stage analysis defined breakout above the 30 week moving average, above the Ichimoku cloud. Okay. 
And we're on track to have a crazy week of volume, guys. Is this a good week here? Wow. Oh. Ooh, I don't know. That's last week's. Six. 22. Ah, oh, was the market closer than Canada? No. Where's today's candle? That's last week. Where's my candle? Was the venture closed today? Hmm. I do not know, guys. Let me check that out. Let's just take today. How many candles? You have nothing. So I think uh, I think the venture was closed today. Okay. So we're gonna have to wait, guys. That was last week's data. The month is still good. So it's tracking on the monthly candle defined breakout. And on the five year weekly, guys, this is still very nice build up. So now we'll get a fresh candle. Let's see what this week brings, guys. If we get a candle close above that 30 cents level, we're going to start looking like this. Man, this pattern is going to repeat over and over. Breakout, pull back on contracting volume. And maybe after a week or two, pull pull back, and then after that, off we go. No overhead resistance. It's looking good, guys. Yeah, look at that, man. Looking good. All right. So that's pretty much it for HME. Yeah, keep an eye on it for this week. Keep an eye out for that monthly candle close. Super important. The monthly candle close, I'm telling you, it's going to make you avoid whipsaws. Like everything goes good in the market and you're rolling along in the stage two. And then, ah, I bought during the month. It's all good. But uh, when the market's trying to churn and on resistance and try to see really if it's going to close above an important monthly defined breakout line or close below, it happens. It could happen in the, the last week, guys. It could explode above a, a breakout line, and then just the price action is going to end up like this, a candle below a, a breakout line, guys. Keep uh, Just keep uh, that in the back, back thought and uh, use that an excuse not to enter a trade. Always find excuses not to enter. Preserve that nav, and uh, only the best setups uh, you're going to be entering. All right, that's it for me, guys. HME. Keep it in the loop. Ciao.